Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Hello, friends! I am going to tell you a story, and it is when I was 19 years old, I was at a hackathon, I was really excited to learn electronic stuff, and I built this very cute project that was two parable stuffed animals that connected to the internet, and they let you hug people from anywhere in the world. So when one was hugged, its paired one would gently vibrate out the hug with a little haptic motor, and vice versa, and if they were both being hugged at the same time, you could feel the other person's heartbeat over all of those miles. And what was supposed to be a three-day hackathon project got an investor interested, they gave me money and asked me to turn it into a startup, and so I fell down this rabbit hole of like, tech startup-ness in the 2015 era-ish. And yeah, that's what I did before YouTube. So now you know my villain origin story. But eventually it kind of spiraled out of control, the Kickstarter was fully funded and got to the point with investors that I had to drop out of school and I did a lot of soul searching, realized I wanted to finish my engineering degree so I shut the company down and I went back to school, which is something I don't regret at all. But as a result, the product never made it to market and I still believe it's the kind of thing that can help a lot of people. Our brains release a chemical called oxytocin when we hug each other and that's like the love hormone. It's how we feel close to one another and there are so many situations where people can't be with their loved ones, whether it's kids separated from parents for whatever reason or adults, I mean, everyone misses somebody, okay? <laughs> And especially as we were going through COVID, I thought about this product a lot and how much I wished I had given it to the world. And here's the thing, when I first started building this thing, I didn't know anything about electronics. I self-taught everything I know from tutorials posted on the internet. And like 95% of them were taught by Becky Stern. And so I am so, so excited to be here in everybody's favorite open source electronics tutorial queen makers studio herself. Becky Stern! Poof! <laughs> Hello! Welcome to my place! I don't know if the poof worked, but uh, Becky is here. I think the poof, the poof happens in post. <laughs> Zyla, I'm glad we're building this now because uh, as opposed to, you know, almost a decade ago when you were first learning this stuff, there's a lot more Wi-Fi boards available for a lot cheaper. The ESP32 wasn't out yet no, when I, when I, I was know. building this no, company. Of course not. So uh, yeah. now you can get like a, a cheap, like really cheap Wi-Fi boards and it is more feasible of a DIY project than it has been ever. Back in my day, we had to walk backwards, uh, uphill both ways in the snow to have internet projects. <laughs> the idea with this product was it was all gonna be touch based. So it was only haptic control. The trigger was like a physical hug and the response was haptic vibration. Like the whole goal of this is for you to make it at home. So all of the code and the circuit diagrams are gonna be available on Becky's website. And Definitely I'll link can. that down below. Also I'll link her channel down below. Yeah, that'd be nice. Because it's awesome. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Becky's channel. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we have simplified this into a very basic Internet of Things or IoT project. And this is how it works. So we have our two stuffed animals which have onboard Wi-Fi chips and connect to the same IoT server. The status of the hug is being kept in the cloud. So you can see here, hug equals zero because there's no hug. When one toy is hugged, the sensor goes, ah, I'm being hugged. And it changes the variable hug from zero to one on its own computer. And then that variable updates in the cloud because they're connected. And so the other toy sees that change and goes, oh boy, hug equals one now. That means it's time to emit a hug. And so buzz, buzz. People clowned on me a lot when um, I was like, all I want the toy to do on the other end is vibrate. There was actually a guy who was like a donor to my school and stuff who would get really mad at me because he was like, you're a robotics engineer, give the thing robotic arms. You don't need it because all you need is the reassurance that you're when you're getting that buzz, you're getting the love from the human and your brain fills in everything else. Yeah, it's like, it's just tricking your brain into feeling like you're being hugged with a, a person you already love. Like you already have the pre-existing relationship. You just want a little extra. So how does the circuit work? I will show you, but first a quick word from our sponsor. I've been an advocate of therapy for a long time. I actually first started seeing my therapist when I was in college and I was on this startup journey, the one that we're talking about in this video, building Perry Hug. And at first I like, wouldn't tell anyone what I was doing. And as my career has grown, and especially my YouTube one here, I've tried to be very open about mental health because I think it's so important that people are comfortable reaching out and getting the help that they need. And therapy isn't just for if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety. It's 
We all are humans living in a complicated, changing world, and therapy is just another tool to figure out how to navigate it in a happier and healthier way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. And this is so important because finding a therapist can be really, really difficult, especially when you're limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is an online platform designed to make finding a remote therapist easier by matching you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days based on a bunch of questions you answer when you sign up. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, a video call, or even just messaging, whatever is the most comfortable way for you. Go to betterhelp.com slash Xyla to both support this channel and get 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. Now let's start hugging each other. Because there's a lot of people in this world that need a hug. Well, let's do it. The brains of the operation is our microcontroller or tiny computer, and we're using the Feather Huzzah ESP8266 board. It's powered by a battery, although when you're testing and programming, I generally just use USB power. But for going into the toy itself, a battery is mobile. For hug detection, we're using a small pressure sensor that has a port to detect changes in air pressure that will connect to a dog squeaker, actually, or any air bladder you want, really. The key is just to form an airtight seal between the bladder and the port. So we use some silicone tubing and then wire it up. So power to power, ground to ground, SCL to SCL, SDA to SDA. And there is a way clearer circuit drawing on Becky's blog post on how to do this, I promise. And now when that air bladder is squeezed, the pressure sensor will detect a change in pressure. And that is what triggers the computer to change the variable hug from zero to one. For the haptic output, we just used one small vibration motor to keep it simple. If you're feeling fancy, you can throw a motor controller or even multiple motors on to play with gradients and heartbeat effects and get closer to my original product. But for this, it'll just be a simple on off. I'm excited. I haven't felt a hug from a Perry in years. Ooh. To actually build this thing, we started by gluing the silicone tube to the pressure sensor using RTV silicone, which is an adhesive that will actually stick to the silicone. And then it was a matter of gluing the other end to the dog squeaker and then soldering the whole thing together. And we started on a solderless breadboard to do all of our testing of the code. You're probably gonna have to do a little bit of that. Um, we are giving you the code, but like drivers change, etc. And then once everything was working, we transferred it over to a solder full breadboard. Do you want the uh, motor to be far away from the circuit board or close up to it? I think that we might want to hot glue it to the circuit board. So ah, so the whole thing vibrates. Yeah. Let me turn on the hot glue gun. I put the squeezy bottle in the middle. Let me zipper up. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready to receive receive hugs. <laughs> you have to feel it go also. You'll feel it go before I do. You have to hug him really hard. Oh, there he goes. Hug received. And with the toy working, my day in New York came to a close and it was time for me to head back to LA. Hi. Hi. I can see you and I can hear you, but and and I, I can, can hug also you. hug you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna squeeze mine. Okay, wait. Let me send you a hug. Do it too. It's the same. Vibrate on both. Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Aw, it's so like cozy. I'm proud of us. Go us. High five. I Perry. know we did. High five. Thank you so much for helping with this project. I am so excited that we finally did a project together, and I'm like extra excited that it was this one. Um, so everyone, make sure to check out Becky's channel and also all of the code and the blog post on how to, like the wiring diagrams and stuff are all on Becky's website. So I'll link both of those down in the description below. Okay, bye!